the mystical legend of the siren, evil mermaids which lure in sailors with their lovely voices and then take those sailors as victims. Christopher Columbus once saw one of these legendary creatures firsthand, and even admitted he had fallen for its mysterious charm. These sirens of legends that were written about in his journals are in fact real, and they are even still able to be seen today. These sirens of legends are called manatees. Yes, these lovable creatures are what many once thought to be the sirens of legend, including Christopher Columbus, where in his adventures he found them and mistook them for the evil mermaids of legend, lending to their scientific order of Serenian hinting at their once mystical origins. These magnificent creatures are classified as marine mammals, which means they operate very similarly to us. They have hair, produce milk, and give live birth. West Indian manatees reach maturity at age 5, and have a large gestation period of up to 12 to 14 months, and often only have a single child, very much like us. Following a birth, the mother will often need up to two years to reproduce again. They can live up to 65 years, showing just how similar we are to our manatee friends. The West Indian manatee gets its name as the sea cow for many reasons. These creatures are rather large, with some of their largest reaching over 4 meters or 13 feet in length and growing up to 2,587 kilograms, or 3,500 pounds of weight. Their large size isn't the only reason for their name, though. A manatee's diet is also very similar to a cow's, munching down on only the finest of sea grasses. These gentle giants are found in few places around the world, located in the lowest parts of North America and the highest parts of South America usually centered around where the two meet. These magnificent creatures face many challenges, causing them to become endangered. Almost every single one of these challenges is caused by humans. Through runoff from fields and cities, much of the seagrass patches that they feed on have been destroyed, as well as rampant boat motors in the shallow waters where they thrive, hitting many of them annually often killing the manatees on impact or brutally scarring their bodies. There have been many victims to these sirens' calls, but instead of facing the evil intentions of their mystical equivalents, the victims of these siren calls are only faced with an adorable face and a curious sense of wonder that embodies the West Indian man.